We back, we back, be back. Freestyle, down, Drop your oh. 16. Drop your hey, 16. you know what? I bet. Give me a beat, bro. Here right, you, go. you know what? You know what? I- I'm going to say it for next week. <laughs> oh, you going to say it next week? You going to be straight yeah. off the dome or what? Man? Shout the dome next week. I got y'all. Oh, <laughs> hey, you drop your you drop your 16. It might take us to the next level. Yeah. They, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want us to get no, you know, be overwhelmed with like you know inquiries and stuff so i'm gonna just save it for next week all right man we're gonna book you we're gonna get you booked, <laughs> we'll get you booked book me man. be booked you and op- busy op- open up open up for g herb on there straight up be like up. they're gonna be like this old school rapper right. old school old rapper. ass lady <laughs> <laughs> old ass lady <laughs> yeah that's what they're gonna be saying well hey what's this episode 28 now Episode 28, bro. 28. All right, we back. This is another episode with the uh, Some of This, Some of That podcast. Uh, we back. I'm Coach Mo. And then we got Tease in the building. Um, Excuse so- my cat. Y'all probably hear my cat in the background, too. What she, she being what she rude? She being rude today, yeah. Uh, she wants you to play with her. Basically. She jealous. She jealous. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> tell her, just tell her to hold fast. Hold, hold fast. I told her, hold, hold on, we're not gonna, fast. we're not gonna, we're not gonna be here long. <laughs> yeah. So hey, this is another week. Hey, you see all that snow outside, though? I see it, but I don't see it. Like I'm not yeah. even trying to take the energy in. <laughs> hey, I'm not even trying to take it in. Listen, I know we're in Chicago, but it gets to February, and you get that flat last snow. You just be mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'm over it now. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, and then, bro, to be honest, yeah. it may not even be the last snow. Because February, because sometimes, I mean, I remember, like, February just always hammering us. Like, it can yeah. snow this week, and it, we can get the same amount of snow next week. So, yeah, February, that's the, those are the beats, the beast months here in Chicago. We so. always get a lot of snow in February. Always, 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 February. always. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so me and me and my son, we'll be out there uh moving it. You know what I mean? That's what we You do ain't getting no here. snow, bro. I you know I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna get it next year. And then the spring, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it in the spring. Right, you be brave, bro. You brave. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm just I am thankful I got my son. I'm just thankful. Well, yeah, he got the young back because you can't man, be he, out there. So he got young back, young muscles, young heart, <laughs> all that, man. Yeah, so he good. yeah, he good. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but uh, how's your week? So far, so good. So far, yeah. so good. Actually, I can't complain. Actually, I had a smooth work week so far. So mm-hmm. that's always good. Yeah, I it wasn't um it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Did you, did you go to work on Monday? Did I did. Me I didn't. I, was I didn't. I was off, and I'm actually off this Monday too. So yay me! I'll check you out. Mm, yeah, I, I've you know, never had. I've never had President's Day off as long as I've been working. You know, but what? the company a, I work for now, they it's they a, a they made off. it a hot. Yeah, they gave us a day off. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not questioning. I take it. Oh, thank you, y'all. So y'all recognize that as a holiday, huh? Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, what I think. Dope. You know what the company's doing? I think. Because these federal holidays are basically days when schools are closed. Mm-hmm. I think they basically just, you know, kind of aligning with that to help make it easier for they, the parents that got kids. But uh, I ain't got no kids, kids, but I'll take it. <laughs> well, I'll take it. My company, it's the first year they're going to they giving uh, Juneteenth off. Really? They yeah. Now, I don't think my company that progressive, but they, they need to be. Well, my company they got real progressive because we, you know, we got we got a black CEO. Nice. Yeah, we got a black CEO. Nice. It's his, it's his second year as a CEO. Black mm. dude, he cool. He cool too. Only thing I don't like about him, he's a Dallas Cowboys fan. But oh. that, <laughs> but is he that, from he cool. Dallas? Yeah, he's from Dallas. Okay. He's from okay. Dallas, but he's cool. He's real cool. He's a cool dude. That makes sense. But um, that's what's up. That's what's up. I had uh, I had Monday off too. So I ain't really do nothing on Monday, but just I just chill. Around. 
Yeah, I chilled too. I chilled. And, I, had a, I had a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Sunday was tough. There's a lot of drinking going on. Sunday was definitely, yeah. Sunday, 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 I think I did. Um, I, I, I had, I enjoyed myself. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. With your um, apple crown? Yeah. I don't know what I had some, I had a special drink. Um, that we had that was I don't even know what the name of it was. You know, it was blue. It but I don't think blue. it was a BMF. Yeah, but it was a blue good. motherfucker. It wasn't that though. It was similar. You sure? I'm I, you know what? I'm hey, y'all be. tea drinking them blue motherfuckers back in the day, <laughs> y'all. Man, you drink those, yeah. you're done. You are done. Like you're done for yeah, if I drink I that now, bro. I'm promise you, I'm off the week. I can't. I'm uh, it'll take me a while to recover from that. Hey, it's like that, huh? Yeah, that's that's a them BMFs, Long Island, certain drinks that it's just like if I get drunk mm. off of that, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's over with all those. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For um, sure. I just well, what we did, we watched the game. Me, and my old man was over here, my mom, and then two of my homies came through here. So we watched the game. It, it ended up, you know what? It was a good game. Um, my team that I told you. One, so yeah, you picked the Rams. I um, should have, I should have, I should have bet you. I don't bet. I don't bet. I don't bet. I don't, I don't. I, you should know bet you bet? something. You know why I don't bet? Because you what? see the outcome. That's why yeah. I don't bet. That shit is fixed. <laughs> fixed. Oh god! Here you go. Here you go. How's it fixed? How's it fixed, bro? Look at the look at the pass interference calls. Look at that. You do well, realize well, you do realize they went the whole game and nothing was called. And mm -hmm. at the very end, the very end, when the Rams were losing and they were making their drive to win the game, they started throwing the laundry on the field. I don't have a, like I said, I don't have a horse in the race. I mm. see, I, I've seen the conspiracy theorists uh, putting that out there all week. I, I don't know, uh, but it's not above the NFL to, <laughs> to do that. So I don't think it was fixed, but you know. Hey, I mean, hey, all I'm saying is LA Rams, LA Super Bowl, LA halftime show. I, you know, I just think they want to make sure it's a sweep. Yeah. So, oh, I mean, I good know. game, though. It's a good game. Tommy, but did you, well, since you mentioned the, the halftime show, did you like the halftime show? I did. I really did like the halftime show. It was really good. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what these conservatives, uh, Fox uh, News people got a problem with when when for many years we had to endure YouTube, we had mm -hmm. to endure uh, Bruce uh, Springsteen, uh, Bruce Springsteen and, and all that. all these people. Yeah, now they have a problem with hip hop rappers being on stage and mm -hmm. R&B singer being on stage. Now all of a sudden, halftime mm -hmm. show was dope. It was dope yep. as hell. I, what do you think of people saying that? Like uh, I've been seeing people say that it was like the best. Uh, the best halftime show. No, I, ain't I mean, you there. know, you know, we gave our, our our favorites last week, but I ain't going there. I ain't yeah, going I think there. that's a little excessive. I think, I think, I know. think people stuck in the moment, but I ain't going there. Yeah, I'm not going. Yeah, there. <laughs> what, it, what it was is just the first time we see hip hop performers on the Super Bowl stage. Yeah, that's what hip hop. I, mm -hmm. I, I I love that. I love that part, but I don't think it was the best. Right, one one of the best. I. It's, I don't even think it's top three for me. So I, but it was good. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. But like you said, I think it's the first time that it's ever been like hip hop per se. Because yeah. I don't even remember unless I'm missing something, bro. Do you remember like the last rapper that actually like performed? Not like the Black Eyed Peas. I mean, not saying they're not rappers, but I'm not talking about like pop people like that. About. I'm talking about like hip hop. Like fifty shit type, yeah, like type, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't remember I don't a remember time that. where any of them mm -hmm. performed. So, hey, did you know 50 was going to be there? I did. He was like the only one that didn't. He was like the only one that I don't remember seeing, um, you know, or like in the, any other promo. Yeah. So, yeah, that was um, that was a big surprise. But, you know, the, the crowd went well. I, I said that last week, bro. I said that song in the club ain't never. That's that's so like that's one of the white people anthems. They ain't never as <laughs> as long that's as he an can anthem. sing that the rest of he has nothing <clears> else yeah. to the, no to for the rest of his life. So that is definitely yeah. an anthem. That song crossed over. Yeah, yeah. And then it was fat shaming fifty. 
Yeah, that was. But wild. I don't even think. I don't even think. You know, I think that was, that was really like candle. I think that was camera angles. Like I feel like Fifty put on a, a little weight. Like he obviously he's not as you know buff as he was in that video twenty years look, ago. He, he didn't look like Lizzo. You know what? Don't we're not gonna do Lizzo. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, we ain't go. We is not gonna shame today, okay? I'm not. I'm just, all right, my bad, my bad. All right, we're not all gonna right. do that. See, why, why Lizzo? What she do? Why you? Why you have to break Nothing. up? No, we talking about fat shaming, but so he was. Oh, fat. Okay, that Lizzo. Big. You know what? Fifty one. I mean, he didn't even look like he was like that big though. He didn't. I don't I know. Think people, I think he's bigger. He's obviously, I mean, he almost, he's 45, so he's not going to be the same shape he was, again, like when he did in mm -hmm. the club, but for a 45 year old, he still looked good. And he wasn't even that big. Like, like I said, I think it was the, I think it was the, the camera angle, and now he ain't as cut up as he used to be, but I think I he's think still, you know, he's in fairly, fairly good shape, so. I think it was the angle, know. too. I think he yeah. was. Cause afterwards, like a pop, I didn't. I mean, when he was standing around, he didn't look like he was. You know, I don't know how they convinced him to hang up, sat down. Yeah, that was, yeah. How they do that? Yeah, I wouldn't have did that. Like, no, nah, no. y'all don't have to just play the clip from or give me a double, a body no, double. I'm not, I'm not doing that. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. No I'm thanks. not doing no that. Thanks. Yeah, I, um, I, I muted my TV when Eminem came on. Oh gosh, what's your what? Why he did good? He he did the other white people anthem. I, I saw somebody say that lose yourself is equal to what dreams and nightmares are okay. to black people. <laughs> like okay. when they play use yourself, okay. like that's how we do. When that song come on, that's what they feel like. But I the like lose yourself dope, too, though. though. The song I like is lose dope. yourself. That's yeah. a dope song. Yeah, you put that song on when you're working out, you're gonna be fine. It's up. definitely on my workout list. It's <laughs> definitely on my workout up. list. You're definitely yeah. gonna be proud of you play that song. What do you um, think about him when he uh when he kneeled? I, I didn't even pay attention to afterwards. I, I really it know. kind of went over my head too. Yeah, yeah it went over my yeah. head. But I mean, at, at this point, I hate to say it, but kneeling is, I mean, oh well, it don't mean hey, nothing. It don't mean nothing. I mean, at this point now, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, but. it's it's just a symbolic of it's symbolism, but it just it really it really means nothing. Yeah, it's but. symbolism, but like no, nah, it don't mean nothing at this point, man. Yeah, well, I yeah. felt like he probably just wanted to. That was his, you know. It's not like he was doing a Super Bowl every year, so I felt like right. he was just using it as his since he was, you know, performing. This is his time to kind of show solidarity, I guess. But and they, yeah, it and don't they, really they mean tried, nothing. They tried to talk him out of it too. I think what they said, they didn't want him to do it for um, doing the actual uh, the anthem. Uh -huh. I think that's what it was. They were saying the day that they they were against him doing it for the anthem, and but people still complained, so, which lets you know it wasn't about the anthem. <laughs> exactly. For, yeah, for the it, last it wasn't about the eight anthem. years. It was never about the fucking anthem. It was never about the anthem in the first place. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was just it was just about weird people that want us to stay in the um, yeah, you know, slavery weird, mindset. So weird, <laughs> creepy people. Weird, yeah, creepy people. yeah. So, I but yeah, overall, was. I thought it was a, I thought it was a good performance. I thought they all did well. It's like, you know, that was for our age group. We needed that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we don't, again, like we said last week, we don't, we don't honor our, um, we don't honor our elder, you know, statesmen in hip hop like mm -hmm. we should. So I thought it was dope that we, we got to do that. So I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, the NFL is 70% is black. So y'all could sit there and, and listen to this hip hop for this fifteen minutes and go home. You, you, you got damn right. Yeah. You, I mean, you, you, you <laughs> y'all think we want to hear you know uh, uh, Elton John every year? No, we don't. I'm just saying we don't. That's we don't want to hear. But ain't nothing wrong with Elton John. But yeah, ain't nothing. I, mean, I love really, really. actually Elton John was a bad example because I mess with Elton John. Like he. Me too. He's a good musician, and he could actually, he actually has talent. So I'll listen to Elton John. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna scratch him. But the rest of them people, not saying they bad, you know, musicians and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, we we need, you know, make, diversify it. <laughs> yeah, that's you what know? they did. Dre put it together. Yeah. He, I, yeah, you know what I mean. But hey, let's go back to what we predicted with the songs. Mm -hmm. but they play uh, what's the name? Um, the Snoop song, Snoop and Dre. 
that um Steel Dre? Yeah, they played yeah. that. Yeah. I knew they was yeah. they gonna have to play. He, he had to play that. Yeah. I was surprised that they didn't close on California Love. I was too. I was yeah, too. I was surprised I they was didn't close too. on California Love. I thought that was gonna be like the like the exit song, but um I was surprised. I, I wasn't expecting Kendrick either. I didn't know Kendrick was going to I didn't know Kendrick was on there either. I yeah, didn't I didn't either. know Kendrick. So that was a good But I guess when you think about L.A., that's a good, that was a His good surprise. His performance was dope, though. I love, he and he sung like a the perfect song, I felt, you he know, did. for uh, for the moment. Because people, you know, it's a lot of controversy around Kendrick because they be talking about him, you know, being connected to the Black Israelites and, you know, mm. his... Um, what they what they think is extreme thinking, which I don't mm -hmm. think is extreme. It's accurate thinking to me, but that's another story. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. I thought he did good. I thought he did good. He did. He did do good. Snoop did good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought all of Mary did good. Mary was yeah. good. I love Mary looked good. Mary, Mary looked good, good, too. She looked yeah. good. She's like, I mean, 50 and killing it, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mary, she Mary putting us. She putting us forty year olds shame. That's for sure. Yeah, Auntie out here looking good. Auntie look good. Well, I got a PSA though. I'm what? sorry, I got to say this. Everybody that wears wigs and you know attention, you know, or fellas, if your lady wears a wig or you got some sisters or you know, or just ladies in general, look how Mary J. Blige wig was. Okay, it was not here. It was not in the middle of her forehead. It was at her hairline. Like, I don't know why this new generation, they are touched with wigs, but they are, they want wigs to be, like, over there, right above they eye, like, they eyelash. I'm like, that's not where your hairline is. Like, her wig was perfect. It was. It was laid. It was. Like, I'm just like, it you was. know what? She, whoever did her hair needs to do a tutorial for a lot of people because these wigs are hideous. <laughs> her wig, hey, her wig was perfect, no doubt. Her wig was perfect. I was like, well, yeah, no listen. Doubt. No doubt. Ah, PSA, whoever wear wigs, please contact yeah, uh, Mary J. Yeah. Black stylist because, yeah, she killed it, yeah. man. She look, well, I mean, her stylist, whoever styled her, period, from her boots to her, her, uh, just her, her whole outfit, like, it was all went together. Yeah. yeah she looked, she looked really good. She definitely shout out to Mary, Mary, for sure. Mary did her thing. Mary did her thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that that stage though, the, the way Dre had to stay, the way they man, that was yeah, man, that was dope, man. That was that was dope. Then the little yeah. dancers and all that, that was I like that, man. They, they had yeah. then when Snoop did his little dance, the little sea walk. Mm -hmm. you know, I was on somebody said that was Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like Hamilton. That that was funny. <laughs> hey, the memes that was going around was great too, man. The mm -hmm. memes, the memes was perfect. The internet don't miss. That's the one thing, <laughs> that's the one thing about like. When you watch a performance live, like you go on Twitter, everybody's watching it too. So they tweeting in real time. Mm -hmm. So you see some of them comments, some of the memes. Like yeah. I when when Mary laid down at the end, I had yeah. posted that. That's my name when she found out that yeah. Lil Nas was still me. <laughs> that shit was funny to me. Man. That was yeah. so funny to me. Yeah. And then, you know, people people don't know what you're talking about because they don't watch the show. So mm. people like, I don't get it. Right. And I'm like, I can't explain it to you if you don't know. Yeah, you don't watch the show. show. Yeah. Right. So you, you won't get it. But the right. people who watch the show understand. That was hilarious, yeah. though. It, it was, yeah, that, that, was, that went right with it. <laughs> it went perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. It was yeah. perfect with that. That was, yeah. a, that was a good show. That was a real good show. Yeah. Was, I, I enjoyed I, it. I enjoyed I can't it. Wait, I can't wait to see who uh, Jay-Z picks next year. I thought they already had a performance. I thought they were saying next year going to be country. Mm. That's what I heard. I don't know. I don't know if that was just rumors because of this year, but I thought I was seeing that roll around that next year is going to be country performers. Really? That's what I heard. All right, well, I'll probably be taking the shit during halftime next Pretty year. Pretty much. That, yeah, that'll I'm, be that'll I'm, be that'll be as we uh put our uh our, that uh gospel that church finger up. That, that's that's yeah. my uh. Let me go. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll be back. I'll yeah. be right back. <laughs> yeah. So uh, speaking of NFL. So what's what's up with this new hire? What's going on? Because I know you have brought it to the group chat. What's happening? With the um uh, with this the agency. Yeah, I thought it was interesting, bro, that um well, I guess it's not really interesting. It seemed like it's typical NFL as far as uh everybody knows that uh currently Brian Flores he's suing the NFL for discrimination. And so the NFL hired a firm um 
that has uh, one of the former attorney generals, Loretta Lynch. I think she's under the Obamas, I want to say. Um, okay. I think she's under the Obamas. But uh, anyway, she's on their, um, she's, in, she's in their firm. And so that was just like a big buzz around the, around the, I guess, social waves today is this mm -hmm. like, you know, how they always use us against us. And people were saying that, you know, that's, this is not like her first time like defending this dis discrimination for like a big organization that she, mm. that her, that that firm, I guess, has done it for like McDonald's and other big name like companies like that. So, I mean, that's, that's her job. So, you know, I don't know. It's, you know, it, it, it could be both ways. It could be good and it could be bad, right? Cause she could, if you got a black voice, um, that's on the case, you know, they can kind of get maybe, you know, bring some clarity for some stuff and actually, even though they're on separate sides, work in favor of, right. you know, the people or, you know, it could be a situation where, you know, it is a, I don't know her and I don't really know her track record to say like, it's a situation where it's going to be, you know, like she like a Candace Owens or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know her. I don't know her, you know, her, what she, her, what she thinks in her, you know her track record to to say that, but now it's, it's, did they hire that firm uh, and to investigate the practices, or they hired that firm to um, consult? Like what, what? The article said they hired the firm to defend the case. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so, okay. so basically, I don't want to defend, but to handle the lawsuit. So you know the Brian lawsuit, I guess to to mediate it. You know what I'm saying? So. I guess that that's what their firm is going to do. Probably, you know, whatever conclusion they come up with, with some kind of settlement, it was going to be a settlement. So I guess just to to kind of, you know, to, to to handle that part. That's what they do. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, people were people were just up in arms about the fact that, uh, you know, that, that it was a black lady and they was feeling like, you know, she's, she's, she's against us. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I don't know her track record. I don't know what it, you know, if it's a situation, if that's the situation, you know what I'm saying? It, it could work in the favor of Brian Flores because you got a black face there that may be able to convince the other side, like, listen, mm -hmm. this is bogus, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it could, we can look at it two ways and it can, or it could be like, here y'all go on that BS. Cause the joke was y'all can hire a black person to defend y'all, but you can't really, you can't hire a black coach. So that's hey. uh I mean, it's very uh, ironic, but it's yeah, um, yeah. So let me ask you this, because you know my brother Jamal, you know Jamal from the Original but English podcast. Uh, shout out to them. So he's very, he's very pro black. Mm -hmm. So when, when 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 the thing hit with Brian Flores and the, and the lawsuit, he was upset. He felt the way because Brian Flores hired two white lawyers. Mm. Um, how, how how do you feel about that? Is that a bad look? What you think? It could be the on the flip side of like what what the NFL is doing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes the white face is what you need, you know, to maybe get what his, you know, the get what he's to get what he's looking for, right? Whatever mm -hmm. he's on, whatever, um, you know, the the case, whatever he's trying to expect his his the end result, you know, maybe he need he felt like he need that white face to fight the white face. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, you know, you want always want to a black uh you know, it's it's definitely a lot of more than capable black lawyers, right? But uh yeah. it may be a situation like I said that he's trying to if you got to, because to be honest, that's that's old money, bro. We know that's old money and sometimes they're not as progressive in, in their thinking and so which is why they're getting sued right now so mm -hmm. you know so his thinking he could be it, it could just be a chess movement that i'm i need i'm gonna hire a white lawyer to 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 navigate that because y'all might listen to him more be more respectful to him than more than if i bring in Benjamin Crump, y'all gonna dismiss everything he's saying you know what i'm saying just True. because True. so True. You know, it's a, and True. we don't know, like, usually those people, they have, like, multiple lawyers, you know what I'm saying? So he probably got other black lawyers, I don't know, or maybe that's who he trusts, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So I don't know, I'm I'm not, um, I get it, I get it, it as far as optics, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, I get it too, as far as optics, it's like, listen, 
if he's trying to win, maybe mm-hmm. in he thinks that's his best bet against uh, a, you know a lily white league, then I can't say I'm mad at that. I just thought you know it was a, you know when he brought it up at the time, I just thought that was an interesting point. It I is. Thought it was, I it thought is. it was a, you know just in terms of the optics, you know you got this black man going against an all white suing for discrimination. <laughs> yeah, so he you know he was saying you know. It would have looked better if he had two brothers sitting up there with him, representing him. It would but look I mean, better for it. it would look better to black people. Mm-hmm. It would look better to black people. Um, mm-hmm. The optics for, like I said, this these all these this all white organization, they don't care about it being too black. I think it would that that it, the two black lawyers. I don't. I just because of how people think already. I don't. I don't think they would respect it. And they would mm-hmm. be like, oh, this, this is just another civil rights, you know, this is another, you know, they dismiss it like it's, they don't take it serious, you know what I'm saying? And, they dismiss it like you know, they do everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and yeah. sometimes when you got another, that's why, bro, like they were saying before with the Brian Flores click, uh, case in the first place that, you know, for some change to really happen, that you going to need some white face to say something, right? You. You're going you're gonna you. to need some white coaches to be like, you know, mm-hmm. I disagree, I dis. Oh, that's why I think he's going with that, you know, in mm. that sense is that, you know, because it's unfortunate some people, you know, it takes their peer to to make them, you know, to realize what's going on. So And it hasn't been a lot of people who who came to bat for him either. Only a few They not. And the few that came to bat for him, they're not even in the league anymore. Right. So yeah, they so, not. So here's so here's the thing. You run into this and I, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. But if you are an aspiring coach and you want to become a head coach, you looking out for yourself. You looking out for like, okay, my future opportunities. And I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying you gotta do whatever you think is best for you. Mm-hmm. So it's the same thing that people did, players did with Cap. Nobody really came and defended Cap except for two nope. people. Nope. That's it. And those two people got blackballed in, in a sense. Yeah. So these coaches who are in the league right now, they're not going to come out and be vocal and say, you know what? When I went on my interview two years ago, it was a sham. Yeah. That that coach probably will never get another opportunity. Yeah. yeah. And I think, and I here's the thing, this is why I say Brian Flores is courageous because he knows I'm probably done in the NFL. He mm-hmm. knows that. But I guess he said, you know what? I got to do this. And, and he said he truly believes he's called a coach. But maybe he can coach in college. Or maybe he can coach yeah. somewhere else and help people there. Because yeah. the, NFL, the NFL, as long as this suit is going on, nobody's going to bring him in Yeah. now. They're not going to so, uh, can Maybe he can. You look <laughs> at the HBCUs that look what, you know, Dion has done for Jackson State. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And maybe he can do something similar to for another, you know, uh, HBCU. You know what I'm saying? Um, which which made me ask you this, bro. What do you think about, you know, back in the day, we had, like, all black leagues. And because they wouldn't let us play nowhere, right? You had to have an all black you know, I don't know really the about Negro the football, league. You but you had the Negro, Negro league. league for baseball. We had mm-hmm. the ABA for basketball. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I don't really know about football. But we, we have not like that for football. I don't think it was like anything for football, right? So, but thinking about back then, how those organizations were successful until we started going to the the, the NBA and the NF, you know, and the and the MLB. So we started doing that. Those mm-hmm. leagues that we had were successful. Do what do you think now in like current day times like about having all black you know um, leagues like that? I, do you I, think that I, would be a good idea, or do you think that that's setting us back? Here's here's the issue. I think it's a great idea, but here's the issue. The issue is this: the NBA, and NFL are major major conglomerates, so. What they have the power to do is to corner the market in terms of TV, advertising. And that's the issue. Because that's what happened with the ABA. The NBA swallowed up the ABA. 
ADA mm-hmm. couldn't survive. So the NBA said, you know what? We'll buy y'all out. But Dr. J got to come with us. Daryl Dawkins got to come with us. Because those two were the main attractions in the ABA. Mm-hmm. They took and the I, talent. Exactly. And I think the issue with we're doing that now is that one nobody's really gonna have the balls to do that because mm-hmm. you're gonna you're gonna you really gonna have to have money like when i mean money piece i mean like billions of dollars like you gotta be able to, bro to uh, enough front. it's enough with between all sports with black players it's enough of the it's enough of them to to, to do it to put them their money together to do it but you got to think about this the top guys who are really getting paid in all leagues it's only five of them when we talk sure. money it's only sure. five of them what about those other guys who don't get paid a lot of money yeah they're gonna be I, hesitant to come over at first but like you said it's a ballsy thing it is it's, 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 it's a ballsy takes- thing because if you are the talent <laughs> And the talent goes, you know what I'm saying? But what you can't ain't no advertisement to see no no BS. You know what I'm saying? No. So if all the talent is gone, you know what I'm saying? It's you know, it's a catch me too. You like you said, everybody don't make the same as LeBron or Steph Curry, you know, everybody doesn't make that. So, you know, but if those players just in general, you know, if they decided they want to put a league together and no, you may not. You may go from, you know, being uh, a one million dollar bench player to maybe, you know, a hundred thousand dollars or whatever. That's still good money from where you came from, with not, without having nothing. You know what I'm saying? Or even if it's not that, a salary of fifty thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? You're only playing for half a year, if that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just think about that a lot. That you know, it's a the it's. I'm just, you know. I'm trying to say it's just like it's good to be integrated and then you know but then it comes with other stuff too because why are we still having these conversations this is we not still. 1965 we you know still. why are we still discri- you know um fighting for discrimination lawsuits like that's stupid why are we why is it still only three you know four black cultures like that shouldn't even be the case but if we had our own already we don't have to fight for discrimination this is our stuff this is this is our league you know what i'm saying and so i I think i I think the best way to fix it is to get more minority black owners that's the only way i think you can fix this because the nfl has none zero zero black owners i don't think they're gonna allow it and that's the issue because it takes that you know what's my man name um the black dude, the billionaire, he's trying to buy the Broncos. Uh, oh my God! Which one? The TV he used to be on TV. Byron. Um, oh, Byron Scott. Byron Allen. Allen. Oh, Byron Allen. That's Byron Scott. He's trying, Byron he's Allen. Trying, yeah, okay. He's trying to buy the Broncos along with another guy, another black guy who's a a billionaire. Mm-hmm. They're both trying to they put together an ownership group to try to buy the Broncos. Roger Goodell talked about that last week at the state of the state of nfl address and one of the media members asked him about it he confirmed that byron Allen is has done all the proper paperwork to purchase the broncos now that's a starting point but this has happened before but it those guys never got to the finish line though Mm -hmm. it was always something I think it's gonna still always be something. It was always something where the owners said no, because here's the thing: they own it. See, that's the thing: the owners have to agree to this. Yeah, and they we have to see agree the, to it, bro. That's why I'm like, it's not gonna go anywhere. They don't want to because it's this is this is you know having ownership <laughs> in this sense. This is like when you have ownership over a team and then you got a mostly black lead. You know, it's like you owning the players. And some of them get off on that, and they don't. In a in a world that's shifting slowly, but shifting in a in a sense of white power, um, yeah. and you know, in the sense of a downward spiral of that, it's uh they not gonna they don't they got they trying to hold on to everything they can. That's why we got all these little 
you know, we, we still seeing these little stupid situations like the Amar, you know, Arbery, like all these different little pop up of aggressive racism that's, mm -hmm. you know, that we that was undercover for a while, but it's just like it's still it's it's still there. And you know, with fifty percent of the country vote for Donald Trump, you know, we know we still have a problem. So that's why I'm saying but those got, men that think like him are not gonna let that that power go. And, and we got owners with big voices like Jerry Jones. We got owners like for for example, the Dolphins owner Stephen Ross. He eighty some years old. You already know he's stuck his ways. Like, Hell like, yeah. like, like, who, he who's says gonna, nigga who, every day. Who gonna come and change his mind? Nobody. Cause exactly. they all the same. Now you they may have a few, you may have a few owners who don't give a fuck. Like maybe Mr. Rooney don't give a fuck. He don't mm -hmm. care. Maybe, maybe uh my man who owned the Rams, that they, they, they don't give maybe they don't care. But then you got other owners who got bigger voices in those meetings who and they got put long they, money. Put they got long, down and old say, white Hell money. Hell no, we're not doing that. Yeah, you know what I mean. You, you got yeah. that. And you, you don't know? have no black voices in the room to say otherwise. So you don't. They, That's they, why they don't, even, they, don't, they don't even have black general managers. They don't. They don't even. They. They. It's. It's the 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 NFL well, is one. so. No, they got a few now. They got a few now. Not enough. The Bears got this, one. You the Bears, Bears got now, one. but I'm just saying, and like then, in general, it's not a lot of black faces in manager roles. No, it's not. In, yeah. in 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 head coach roles, like it's not enough of those voices for them to really, you know, make a serious. The impact. Dallas Cowboys so, has never had one. The New York yeah. Giants has never had one. They don't because they don't want one. They never how had you, a black. How coach. are you in New York, which is as black as it is, and you don't have, you know, they've never um, had a black coach, never. Yeah, and out of and you, it's crazy because you got all these players. That has been in the league, all these black players that went to college, that played, and you mean to tell me y'all can't figure out now one person to be general manager, so they can play, but they smart enough to to, to run a team. I know. Okay. That's why okay. the NBA is so far progressive because the NBA has has had black owners. They got one now, and the NBA has always hired black coaches. Mm -hmm. I remember a time. I remember a time in NBA. Yeah, man, um, look, Russell was a uh, was a coach. But I remember telling you that you looked across the teams, you saw like, damn, they got a black coach. They got a black coach. Yeah. It, it was like, wow. Yeah. Like, There's a lot of them. Yeah. And, and and you see now, look, there was eleven job openings last year, and eight uh, eight of them were black coaches who got hired. Yeah. That's huge. I mean, right. I don't think they had as big as problem with color as. The NFL. The NFL is kind of, you know, the just like I said, they just this old, old, old man white money. So it is. It's uh, as long as, like you said, those eighty year olds is is in charge. You know, but it, you figure what was going on eighty years ago, bro, and those who was born with that mentality. But it I'm takes. Sorry. <laughs> it takes, and people get upset when I say this, but it's going to take the players like Aaron Rodgers like Tom Brady, those players with their faces across the league to actually say something and say, hey, you know what? This guy this guy was my uh, offensive coordinator and he's fucking really good. He needs to be a head coach. Yeah. If owners, good luck if with owners that. hear that, they hear that. Good but until somebody that. does that, perfect example. Brian Leftwich was Tom Brady's offensive coordinator. For how many? Two years. Yeah, two seasons. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get a job. And that's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I that I think that's the only way. And people help. with people with far less experience and far less, you know, wind records get hired higher for yeah. yeah, yeah. It just goes to show you, bro, that they the NFL is just a long way off. This this one this one performance by Dr. Dre now does not cure. Everything <laughs> they, they got a long way to go. <laughs> no, they got a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, long, they put a band aid on it, but yeah. they got they 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 still got to get some confederate out of them. This this country still <laughs> bleeding from racism, so that For band aid sure. didn't work. That For band sure. aid is not working. For sure. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, let's get into this whole um, this that old boy got caught on vacation being thirsty. Now that <laughs> shit there. 
<laughs> I, I laughed at that. That was that. You know what? You know that hasn't happened. You know it's happened before many times, probably. For sure. Yeah. For sure. But he was thirsty. He was stupid. That that that's one thing, bro. That's the thing about like, okay, if you if you cheated, right? right. If my guy is cheating, I hope he's smart enough to not cheat. You know. Just out, Lily, Lily. Like you just when you out, like when you like that, that means you don't care. Like when you when you out there and people with cameras and, and you're not aware and you don't. That means you don't care if I see this. You don't. You want me to find out. That means you don't mm. give a damn about me. That's how I look at it. Like I mm. feel like if you're cheating, you're supposed to be in Africa, right? Well, I can't see. Like you know that it ain't supposed to get back to me. Or you sixteen hours to be, away. You know what I'm saying? Or you're supposed to be like you know. 007 or some stuff like you can't but guys are I'm sorry bro guys are not smart so all he saw was a big butt and he just got his thirsty ass in the water and was just like <laughs> you know dude you're, you're a whole married man you're a whole married man like you don't know who's watching you now flip side she was thirsty too because mm. I just hate this generation of everybody will put everything on the internet. Like you don't know this man and you don't know if he's married for that reason alone, you probably shouldn't have posted it. No, that's no excuse for him being a married idiot, but it's just the fact that girl, if y'all know this man, please let me know. If you wanted him to be in your phone, you would have, you would have kept the number. Mm -hmm. But now you want a you want you want a TikTok story, so you put this up there for a TikTok TikTok mm -hmm. story. You probably wouldn't even really interested in that, Like I said, if it was a true connection and it was somebody you really were trying to fool, you wouldn't have lost the number. Period. But nope. you wanted to have a tick, you wanted to have a TikTok moment, and you got it. Now you look stupid. Mm -hmm. And she got so, what she wanted. She, she got what she stupid. wanted. She looked stupid. Both she of them looked the stupid. Views. She got the yeah. views. She got all that, but she was stupid. Yeah, because I'm like. It's like, again, she was like, and she even said it herself, like, yeah, it was a TikTok thing where people was posting if you know somebody. But it's just like, this, again, like I said, this generation of people on social media is stupid. You know what I'm saying? They, they overshare, and then this kind of stuff happened, and you got old boys to know with his wife, like Derek Jackson. So it's like, boy, I just want to say, you a goofy. You wish she should divorce you for being goofy, period. Because it's just like, you don't even know how to cheat. Like, you ain't supposed to. You ain't supposed to do that. And then he was like, it was just a picture. You ain't supposed to take no picture with no other hoe, nigga. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say niggas. I kissed him up. No, no, you no, ain't supposed to. You ain't supposed, to, you right, ain't supposed to be taking no that's other. Right. You ain't supposed to do that. Like, I, I just hate when guys just be stupid. Like, hey, man. They, seriously. Guys, guys do be stupid. They do be this stupid. This dumb, I, like, just thinking with their joint. Just I've thinking with their joint. Like, come on now, man. You ain't supposed I've to be. It. That's when I've you get caught dudes, up when you be that loose goosey like that, bro. I've seen dudes who got women at home and, and they be outside and they just lose their mind sometimes. They and you know, I just I just do one of those like, ooh, okay. All right, you gonna you gonna kiss the bitch huh? right in front of everybody, huh? Okay. Stupid. Stupid. Right. That's what I'm saying. You ain't supposed to do that. You supposed to be a little more discreet. If you're gonna be out in the streets like that. You can't be caught in the water filling up on some stranger. Like, you can't be that thirsty. You saw his face though when he saw a girl? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All he saw was that butt, bro. He saw her butt. He was just like, he zeroed in on it. That mom was in that water too happy. I'm like, he this looked, guy. He looked like Bernie Mac when he was in that money. <laughs> yeah, man. That's like, boy, he was like, woo. I'll tell you what. His wife, she just, you know, she was like, I don't think he was cheating. I just think it was inappropriate. Okay. Yeah. Ask me. Ask me if it's cheating. Yeah. It's cheating. <laughs> when the video yeah. went up and I looked at people comments, people something else, boy. They comments are something else. Yeah. They, they were going they, in on dude though. They were going in on dude. Because he's stupid. He need to be they need everybody should have went in on him because he dumb. They call him a, they would call him a dummy. That shit was funny. Yeah, he's definitely he was definitely dumb. So I don't feel sorry for him at all. Like Mm -hmm. Again, the lady was thirsty for like you know putting it out there or whatever, yeah. but he's stupid. He shouldn't have been that thirsty. So we got two yeah. thirsty people: one for putting yeah. it out there, and one for jumping out the window because he saw that ass. <laughs> I tell you what, he might he might not have got with that lady, but he got with somebody because he was he was on the prowl that day. 
The way he was acting? Yeah, he got with somebody, bro. Yeah, he got with somebody. Yeah, yeah, he probably, yeah. He did. You know he, he, was he was on the prowl. He was on the prowl. He might have, he might have, you know, see if I still got it. Mm -hmm. He, he might have did one of them. I definitely, the, and the way he was sitting there on the video just looking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I forgot y'all. Anybody who didn't know what we're talking about, there's a viral video going on with this guy on vacation. He met a lady. Um, <laughs> he he was out, I guess, on vacation with his guys in Miami, and there was a lady in the water taking a picture. He got in a picture with her, basically mm -hmm. just start, you know, flirting with her, and they chatted, and um, she uh, she took a picture with him, or well, her friend was taking a picture, I guess, a video. And then she ended up posting the video on TikTok because she said she lost his number. Supposedly he gave mm. it to her. She mm. said he lost his number. So she put it on TikTok because anybody seen him and that he was like a perfect guy and all this stuff. And then it turned out somebody said it to his wife. His wife was like, yeah, I see him right now. <laughs> and she was like, who are you? She was like, oh, that's my ex-husband. That's my ex-husband. Yeah, so mm -hmm. she was just like, well, she's like, he's my son to be ex husband, but they wasn't. They were still married, but apparently they in counseling now, according to her. So they ain't going nowhere. I don't, I don't but so I see his face looked like he still be on BS, bro. Like his face he was lefty looking he, like he, he does this. And she, well, she's saying he's a cheater. I was like, yes, he is. He probably he loves going on, it. He probably he going on another. Cheat. He probably going on another guy's trip next month. He, you know, he. He loves mm -hmm. to cheat. His face had no remorse. He looked goofy and he was looking like, yeah. She'll she, she be all right. She'll be all right. Yeah. I'm about, I was to, like, I'm, about to, I'm about to call this hole right now when we get done. <laughs> that's, right. that's what he thinking. That's what he thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that's like, he, he probably, it, it, it probably calling the girl on the video too. And she Never probably goes, if she goes, she probably go. And then she talking about something. He gave me his number. So for her to say all that, now, as you, if you married to dude and you hear all that, you're going to be like, why are you giving out your number, asshole? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, you can't be that stupid. I pray I never marry a dumb cheater. I just don't, like, I, I no. just, it's not like, I don't want to be cheated on, but I'm just they saying. Be, they be dumb, too. If you're going to be out be there, dumb. like, you can't just be loosey-goosey. I, I just don't understand, like, how you not like back in the day, bro? We know people used to have whole different families. Nobody <laughs> knew about. You know, you found out somebody had two another set Pretty of kids one. when they Pretty died. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know Leroy one. had thirteen kids over here. Yeah, because Leroy did kept it under wraps. Leroy you know? had a whole family on <laughs> whole the north side. Family, bro, on the north a whole side. other family. Whole family. Kids. Nobody even knew. Like these people now, they want to be like. I don't know, guys are just, just how he, stupid. How he, how he die on top of me? <laughs> <laughs> he was stupid. He was stupid. Oh, That's shit. black history right there. That's black history right there, man. <laughs> but yeah, hey, yeah, it's, yeah, it's some dumb cheaters. Yeah. It's, we've all heard some stories and we've seen stories posted on social media. It's been some wild shit. Yeah. Some yeah. wild shit. But dude, he took the cake. He deserved. I'm gonna say she if she take him back. I know she got they got four kids together, so you know it's oh, different. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's different. It's different, it's different, but I'm just like he. I think I felt like Buddy is not sorry. He's not done. That's yeah, my no. vibes I got from him. He didn't look remorseful. Mm 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 mm. He, he looked like, like man. yeah. Like, he, man, I'm a I'm about her back. She gonna be mm -hmm. out, man. Yeah. I'm Mm -hmm. Pull but that back out I, real quick. But meanwhile, I'm gonna call Shorty though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get out with her and be like, "Man, Joe, why you put me out there like that?" But look, I'm coming back. Woo, woo, woo. Yo, what he gonna be on? Yeah, for That's sure. What he gonna be on? You already know he is. For sure, I already know. Like you said. <laughs> but, but, but he got. He, he saw her in that water though, man. That shit. <laughs> That's yeah. So funny. Yeah. He was, looking, he, he was like, "Ooh, we." Yeah. I got he, one. Yeah. He, he. That's what. And that's what he came down there for. So that's what he came down there for. So, yeah. He's going to BS. He's going to BS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's going to surreal, surreal BS. Yeah. He was dumb. Hey, hey uh, let's, let's, let's talk about uh, that Kanye doc, the first part. You I loved it? it. I loved yeah. it. I loved it. I mean. What was I, it about? 
it's it's really about his start from when he started in Chicago to when he moved to New York. Um, so for just, me, for those who don't know, it dropped on Netflix. What yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it's called Genius. Genius. Um, okay. Yeah, All something right. like that. But the, you know, it's spelled like a yin. It's it's spelled like in a way where it's Kanye name. But mm. to be honest, I, I'm gonna tell you why I loved it for a few reasons. Right? We all know Kanye is a narcissist. Like that's. He he self admitted that in this video when he was nineteen, however he was in the video. Mm. Um, but I thought it was, I thought it was cool that his, I I, I see why he um, honors his mama so much. Like I know you know when we interviewed my cousin, she was talking about his mom and how sweet she was and just how much she pushed him back then and how she got her start working with Kanye. Um, mm. And but his mom, like she, you can tell they were really tight, and you can tell she truly, truly believed in her son. And mm -hmm. when he was thirteen or fourteen, and he was making beats, you know, she had one of her former students who who she knew that was like a producer. She had him like train him to 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 you know how to make beats and how to use the machine, and she bought him a machine, you know, and that's how he got started, like at thirteen years old. Um, Working with one of Chicago producers, I forgot his name. You probably knew it if you see it, um, but it's just it just shows you how important like parents uh, influence. Was it Twilight Zone? When was Twilight Zone? It was no ID and somebody else. No ID and okay, he was one was, of them. Um, dang, I can't think of it, bro. But okay. I don't know if you know. You probably, I'm pretty sure you know who it is. Um. But he, uh, it's just, it's just like I said, like it's just, just having a parent, just having parents that really instill confidence in you. Like she always spoke as if, you know, she always was encouraged, like that's good, Kanye. Well, she, and, and to see her rapping with him, like mm -hmm. the stuff that he, that he used to do, like that was super dope, man. That was just like dope to see a parent connect with their child like that and be encouraged, man. And she's like, she always used to tell him. When he say stuff, stop saying like if I can, it's when I when I make when I sell a million records, when I do this. And you know, now you see how come he talks the way he talks because his mama, she put that in him. You know what I'm saying? And like how Kanye is now, honestly, you will see he really ain't that different. Like he that confidence he he has now, he had it then. And the way he thinks of himself, he thought it then. He just didn't have a the platform then. But how he People was like, well, you can produce for this person, for this person. He's he always was thinking, well, I'm thinking beyond producer. I'm a rapper. Like, I want to do this and I want to sell more than a million dollars. I want to sell billions. I want to be this is a 18 year old dude saying this, you mm -hmm. know. So it kind of just puts you in the mindset. It just kind of show you, like, wow, he's been this way. Like, he ain't just turning to this. He's this was a uh, he been there. And then to see him go from you know, trying to push, like, being a successful producer and nobody taking him seriously as a rapper. Like, you mm -hmm. know, and him playing music for music executives and they like, oh, that's cute. You know, and, you know, basically, even for the main people that he was producing for, like Rockefeller, the first time, they was just, like, blew him off. You know what I'm saying? So you can see the feet in his face, but then when he went back home, and his mama kind of just basically built it back up again. It was kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, let me reset. And he went back and, you know, tried harder. So um, I thought it was dope for that reason. You know, outside of Kanye being Kanye, you know, I think it's a, it's a good documentary. I think everybody should go see it. It was cool seeing, like, cameos from the Brad and Crucial Conflict, Do or Die. Mm -hmm. and local mm -hmm. Chicago people uh, from that era, um, in there, so it was. I thought it was good for that reason, especially just put Chicago on. You know, we don't really see Chicago like that, bro. We don't really have right. no docs where we saw like up and coming artists from Chicago and what that scene looked like. Right. Um. So it was. It was. Um. I thought that was dope. How uh, How long is it? I think it's only like an hour and maybe maybe an hour and a half, a little oh, bit okay, less. Hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, so, so you gotta check you, it out. You sat through it, huh, T? I sat through it. You know I like Kanye, so I, that does a struggle for you. Hour, hour, you know, anything longer than thirty minutes. That's well, this is true. This is true because it's you know what? It's a struggle, bro. When I have to binge watch, oh, I have okay. to binge watch, and it's like you know I can't okay. do it. But mm -hmm. just because they they showing it a, a episode for the next couple weeks, um, 
Yeah, that wasn't that bad. And I, I, I enjoyed it. Like I said, I liked Kanye, so. Okay. It's, um, okay. Outside of his antics for this past week, uh, him and him and Kim, uh, they stuff. <laughs> yeah, you been following that crazy stuff? Yeah, I have, because I have no choice. <laughs> do you think, oh, wait a minute, or do you think it's, do you think he's falling into the category of, of, of harassment with her? No, I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to say harassment, but he doing a lot of goofy shit that a lot of sim shit that if it wasn't Kanye, if he wasn't from the crib, niggas would be calling him out on that shit. But because mm-hmm. it's him, they're giving him a pass. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. It's been a lot of, it's a lot of dig ride with Kanye. And that's why I go back and forth with people about him is because we from Chicago, a lot of shit he doing, people here like, you know people be like, come on, bro, that's that's goofy. But that's what, right. Because it's him, it's like, you know, I'll, especially chicks, I want a man to do me like Kanye want to get back, like, <laughs> no, okay. don't do that. Because if like, somebody tell you it's done, it's done. And the truth of the matter is, you can't want your family back that far when you walking around here with Julia Fox and everybody else, like, you're not serious. You're not serious. And then when she asked you to stop posting it, you posted it anyway. You, it's, This is about you. And this is about you wanting to control. Kanye wants control all the time. He wants to control the narrative, which I understand that sense because you're dealing with Kardashians. And we know what that machine looks like. And dealing with a white girl and, and not just a white girl, you're dealing with the most famous white girl and the most famous white family. So if they say something and they put that message out there, it can be altering. I understand that. Like, I understand wanting to get ahead of them trying to put the image of you that they want. But at the same time, he kind of OC with it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, control the narrative, but don't be crazy. Like, you're being crazy. You have a whole girlfriend, live with a whole girlfriend, and then you're on, 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 on social media saying, I want my wife back. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're not but serious. It's, again, it's for it's it's for it's for marketing. It's sure. marketing. Sure. That's all he care about. Yeah. The, the and man, then it's the crazy because he had every time up, he have a show, some come out here. Go. He actually, but he, he woke up on Sunday on Super Bowl Sunday, and basically was the number one trending topic over the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> just the just the way he wanted it. And he loved it. Yeah. He loved it. Yeah. He loved it. But he I, again, like I, I just don't have no sympathy for him, and you know, I like I like I said, I'm a, I'm gonna keep saying this. He's upset because it's Pete Davidson giving his wife the pipe. If this was any, <laughs> if this was any other dude, mm-hmm. he would not be acting like this because he, he think it's a goofy. Because he think Pete a goofy, mm-hmm. and he can't believe that his wife Kim K left him. Nine billion dollar Kanye for Pete Davidson. I mean, and That's if your wife wants you, if she if she left you for that, then move on. But for me, listen, she left him for that. For me, that says a lot because, dude, just because you're a billionaire, obviously, it's something about you she don't she didn't want anymore. And I think she, you know, I don't right whatever it no, is. Like, no infidelity was involved with them. None of that. Mm-hmm. It's some other shit. Well, she probably, to me, you know, they both are narcissists, and they both have an, you know, the Kardashians have an obsession with black culture, and Kanye was one of the biggest, not one of, probably is the biggest black rapper, you know, right now in the world. Um, so, I don't feel sympathy, sympathy in that sense, because you know what you're dealing with, too. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that I feel like, not that they really needed him for any kind of clout, but, you know, they always attach themselves to black people and black culture. And I feel like this was just the next level of black culture for them uh, to get with Kanye. It was like, you know, that was a chess move for them, too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really feel sorry in that sense. I don't. I think people being dramatic by saying, oh, he's harassing her and it's harassing. I think it's Hollywood weird stuff that's going on. And I don't really think it's. You know, and a normal person, it could be seen. I just think it's probably more annoying than anything. Like, dude, you know what I'm saying? Because 
like again, I don't really believe that he really even want her back. I think he just it's his, it's, it, like you say, it's his ego. It's the ego thing. You know he what I'm saying? At this point, back. he might not want her back. He I don't probably think he do. I don't think I, I don't you you can't call that whole family crazy, call her mama crazy, call her all these names and be like and then she gonna stay together. Come on. Kanye ain't Kanye is not dumb at all. No, he's not. He's, he's not a very dumb. smart dude. He's a very, he's a very smart, smart dude. dude. So you cannot convince me that Kanye West thinks after saying all that stuff about their family that he seriously thinks that she gonna stay with him. Hell no. He don't think Kanye know better than that. I think if again all that stuff be calculated, his his movies out. He got Donna Two coming out, so you know it's Kanye always act. He always act erratic around an album release. So that's what I th that's what I think it is. But hey, that's just me. Oh shit! That's Kanye trying to slow us down. <laughs> it's the man, bro. <laughs> the man. <laughs> Try to slow us down, but yeah, you're right, Keith. It's calculated, and the fact that he's, the fact that he's, he's taking advantage of everything right now. He he is being watched by the paparazzi, social media, like the. The Jasmine brand, the Shade Room. I mean, they're getting a whole bunch of traffic on their website because of him and Kim. So you're right. right. Oh shit! Hold on. We're trying to get see it. it I'm a, I'm gonna blame. I'm blaming him. I'm trying to shut <laughs> it down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, we almost done anyway. So come back, bro. Just me, y'all. Hope everybody had a good week. Uh, if you haven't, since I wait for brother to come back, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, um, all that good stuff. Share it for us. We appreciate that. Um, what else? Send us topics I want to talk about. People um, always send us stuff. So, yeah. We back. We back. I was I was giving a little. I was going ahead and telling everybody since I was waiting on you to, to tell everybody just to go ahead and like and subscribe and comment. <laughs> we back. We back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I you know what? I'm probably gonna watch the doc, but I'm probably gonna watch it after all the dick riding is done and mm -hmm. the doc, everybody done talking about it. Then I'll watch it. Okay. I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna watch. Only, only I, I just want to see it because it's a lot of people in the shadow that's in there. Yeah, and then the dudes who made the doc, they the same dudes who made the uh, Ben Wilson um, thing on ESPN, like okay. Cootie and uh, what's his name? They they well known here in Chicago, so okay. that's why I'm a supporter. Yeah, okay. it's it's good, it's good. I'm gonna check it out. Check it out, man. Hey, before we move on, real quick sidebar. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bill Cosby doc. I did finished, you did you finally watch it, bro? I just, I just finished uh, episode two, two, part two. Okay. Holy, holy <laughs> shit! Man. Hey, man. Bill was a hey, man. Yeah, Bill. Bill was a. Bill, Bill was kind of creepy, up. bro. Yeah, yeah. He um. What did you say? He did that. <laughs> Bill was kind of creepy. Yeah, Bill. Bill did that, bro. But some of the women, though, I'm looking at some of these women, and I'm like. <sighs> okay, I'm not saying y'all lying, but I don't know, man. Some of these women, I'm like, but here's the thing. He had a type. Oh, yeah, for sure. They all look just about, if they was either white, mixed, they was models. Yeah. Yeah. They all had a type. Yeah. Man. But yeah, that, I can't wait to finish this, this, uh, yeah. doc. Yeah, he, uh, Bill was nasty. Yeah, Bill was Hey, like, like, like my man Joe Bunn say, Bill was kind of nasty. <laughs> he wasn't kind of, he was Bill, nasty. Bill, Bill was <laughs> and then you think about it, he had been, he'd been telling us he was nasty for a long time within his comedy. Like he was talking, he was obsessed with that little drug. That, what is it called? Spanish fly? Spanish fly. He was obsessed with that, bro. He was obsessed with it. Man, Bill, boy. Hey, and poor Camille. Oh, yeah. man. Poor yeah. Camille. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he, uh, just tease as a woman, you, that's gotta be like 
you you married to a guy, but you don't know this is what he's doing in his other life, quote unquote. Then all this comes out, like again, Camille, uh, R. Kelly's wife. It's got to be like, God damn, like. Is this the man that I knew? Because clearly, everybody say this about R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. They never saw this side of him. They always saw this one side of him. And then when they hear about him being this way, they like, I never saw that. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. Because you can look at your own personal life and think about some things that you do that probably everybody don't know that you do, right? Right. So that's possible. Um, but I think that, you know, it makes me question, like, is it really that you didn't see it or did you, did you really just turn a blind eye of it to it because of who it is? Because mm -hmm. I know, because honestly, some stuff I can, I can be honest and say situations that you did with somebody and you do, you ignore the signs because of the love that you have there. And, you know, it may not be nothing as deep as, you know, sexual harassment stuff like that or sexual you know misconduct but it's just right. you know you ignore things because you're with that person so i don't know i can't say that camille being married to him 60 she may i i think this that's what i think bro i think i don't know that she probably never thought that he was into any kind of you know indiscretions i think she probably was a, aware of that i think she may not have been she may not have been hip to like the drugging aspect, but she may have been hip to he got hoes. That part, all right, yeah, that's what I think. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. the part I'm talking you, about. You usually we always know when somebody got hoes. I'm talking you, about that part, the yeah. You know, right. when your man got hoes, you may not know who the hoe is, you but know what I'm saying? Really got hoes. <laughs> but you got a something, you know, when something is different because guys are not that smart. I'm sorry. In that situation, when guys are already cheating and they're thinking with their man member, they always you, you're going to put your attention somewhere else. Like you think that you got all it at, you think you got it all covered, but that's usually the, that's usually how stuff start where the woman can see a difference because you're going to, to talk to this woman, unless you got 25 phones at the same time. If you're going to invest in this woman, that means you're not investing in this woman because that gets tiring. So somehow you're going to get the the, the, the the short end, right? Mm -hmm. So if the lady at home is in the short end, she's going to be thinking like, okay, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? So like I said, you may, you may not know what, but all you know is that I know he's not as present as he used to be. So that's how it is. And then it starts, you know, that starts the spiral of when we yeah. don't feel connected to the guy, like guys... I be trying to tell people like I used to tell you know some some of my homies this when they was having troubles like listen <laughs> women may not know who or what but they know so you you don't even act like you know don't, act don't like even it. go into it acting like she yeah. making up stuff don't do that because she already know yeah. you've seen the difference because you're not that smart because you're thinking with your, your your man right now so you don't even your, know your she member. sees the she sees the shift so. You know, because you can't be everywhere at the same time. You just can't do it. You just, you just, you just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? And so your wife not wanting, you can't be mad at her for not wanting to touch you. You're not cultivating over there. Mm. Why does she want to touch you? Mm. <laughs> she don't, she knows you're touching somebody else. Yeah, you Period. ain't showing no more seeds no more. You ain't showing no seeds over there. So no. she know you get it from somebody else. So she don't want, that's mm. not going to make her, unless you like, kind of like, you know, young minded probably. Well, he doing this lady. I need to go do him some more. Well, you know, sometimes cheating it ain't always about what you're not doing all the time. Does this guy want to do it? He wants True. to. He wants to. True. He can do what he want to. Do. It's nothing True. you can do. It's nothing you can do about the situation. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. anyway, yeah, I think she probably knew he had you know hoes, but she probably. I don't think she probably knew he was drugging. That's what I think. I, I, yeah, yeah, that doc, yeah, that doc is, man. Y'all yeah, check it out, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I, I still say the Cosby Show is one of the greatest shows ever. Definitely, uh, Cosby Show, different world, different world different hands world, still one of the greatest shows ever, but, man, yeah. that shit that they, that they revealing on there, just, and then these interviews with these chicks, is just something else. Just something else, man. Yeah. All right, um, the topic of the night, though. By this, hey, everybody, Tease brought this up. Okay, 
you know, teach be coming with some of these topics sometimes. Sometimes I be thinking they meant for girls or other females, because topics like this, dudes, you know, dudes gonna feel away about topics like this, because dudes have a way of thinking about certain situations. Because we just different, and sometimes we do think with our members, but that's not an excuse. But we do. <laughs> but Tease has a topic, and this is the topic. Should you still be friends with your friend's ex? So I'm gonna tell you how. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all how I got to this topic. It really was like a a, a, a piggyback off of Kanye, right? Because mm. now that Kanye West and um, Kim are broken up, like he's going through this rampage of people that's friends, <laughs> like with Pete or, you know, friends with her and what he's not, you know, he don't want to be friends with them no more, stuff like that. So it just made me think, like you said. So now when you break up with somebody and should, do you think like, I know, like you said, guys think different. My question to you as a male, let's just say you break up with your girl. Do you think you should still be friends with her friends? And do you think she should still be friends with your friends? No. <laughs> Why you say no? Because her friends is her friends. Mm -hmm. The only reason I know her friends is because I married her or we were together when all of us hang out intertwined. But once that is, no, we good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Like, you know, I agree, bro. Because even uh, my, my friends will tell you, like, I feel like when we broke up, all of us broke up. Like, yes. you're not, he's not your friend anymore. Like, he yes, was your that's the friend way because be. of me. So if yeah. I'm not talking to him anymore, we ain't talking to him no more. Right. That's just how it is. Unless it's a situation where like you said, we all grew up together and we was all friends first. Like, I understand that. But mm. other than that, like, no, y'all not friends with him no more. Mm. Don't talk to him. Like, you can't call my friends and my friends should know not to call you. I mean, and I don't have to talk to you. Like, he's no longer, he's invisible. Like, act like he didn't exist anymore. I'm that's not even going to follow your social Unless, media like no I said, a situation where we, where we all grew up together and that's different. Mm, that's you know? different, though. Yeah, that's different. Or, or if Let's just say I know your friends before me and you start dating. That's different. Yeah. But if you just introduce me to these people, nah, we done. You dead to me. Yeah. And your friend. Yeah. 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 I, I agree. I agree. So I'm I'm not no, nah, I I ain't with that tease. No. Nah, yeah. I, no, I, I'm I'm with you one thousand percent. Like, you know, I'm like people call it Kanye crazy. I'm like, you know what? I actually I agree with that. <laughs> that ain't your friend no more like you know tell her what you want to but we broke up that's not your friend like and you're not <laughs> friends with her friends like no no stop it's it's <laughs> over with it's over it's over with all of us broke up <laughs> over it's over yeah all of us broke up period yeah I like that though I'm with that but it might be some people who might disagree with us though yeah <clears throat> you yeah. know what I mean some people might say Oh no, you know, we ended up being we friends just because it didn't work out between y'all two. It's cool. No, that's no, it's not. We're all broke up. <laughs> Period. <laughs> it's over for, for yeah. us all. It's, it's over. over for us all. That's it's what over. that is. Yeah. That's a good topic. That's a really good topic. <laughs> yeah, really I'll be interested to hear what our listeners got to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I should put that out there too, man. Yeah, put it oh, out no, there. I, I should, but I just got too many ratchets, though. They'd be like, nah, shit. Fuck that! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. let's see. I I want to see what they gonna say. Yeah, I I, I do. I want to see what they gonna say too. Yeah, that's a good question, Tease. That's that's a really good question. Yeah, let's 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 post it out there. See what people say. Let's post it out there. Then also, when we get a chance to do uh, have another dude, another female on, we will ask that question too. For sure. And get yeah. and get and get some. That should be interesting. Uh, few few moments with that topic. You know, oh yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's coming up soon, y'all. We doing another, we be doing another, uh, another, another pie soon with our friends, and yeah. we're gonna talk some more relationship stuff. <laughs> more, yeah, because relationship stuff really get the people fired yeah, up. Yeah, everybody been asking us when we gonna do it again, so we working on it, y'all. We working. They on get it. fired up off of that, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, dude. Yeah, for sure. 
Because I know some of your friends, they be really opinionated about oh, yeah. relationships. Oh, yeah. You, you know already know. <laughs> yeah, I know they do. They get real opinionated. Oh, yeah. You already know. <laughs> and I got some friends the same way. They get fired up, too, about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I'm going to try to pick a friend who, you know, who, who ain't, you know, who, who's like a, a born again version. So it'll make it a little better. You got those kind of friends? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you don't know them, no mean they exist. I, I'm very surprised. I am very, I, 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 everybody that's Moses' friend, sorry. I, I thought you all were all thought. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Nice people. <laughs> you know what? We're going to make that a title of the show. All Moses friends are not thoughts. Mm. Look at, oh, look at your face. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Are they? Really? <laughs> I know they're not. They're born again. That's good. Born if they're again. born again, I could, I could, I could take that. I, I'll again. accept that. I'll they, accept that. They live in their right. I mean, they live their life right for Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> hey, what's, your, what's your Black History shout out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me go to my phone. Let me get my Here Black History shout These out. These be good. These be good. Okay. Well, I had a few. I couldn't I couldn't decide this week, but I'm going to go ahead and pick my last one. Um, so, Bessie Coleman, that's my yeah. Black History shout out this yeah. week. Um, black uh, Bessie Coleman was the first licensed back pilot in the world. Um, let me just give a little quick little history on it. Say, though history always favors Amelia Earhart or the Wright brothers, Coleman went to flight school in France in 1919 and she paved the way for a new generation of diverse flyers like the Tuskegee Airmen, the Blackbirds, and the Flying Hobos. So, Bessie Coleman, y'all, black woman, young black lady, she died unfortunately um, in a plane crash. Um, that she was working on one of her own planes, but she's the first licensed uh, black pilot. So uh, y'all check her out. Like I said, I always, you always hear about Amelia Earhart and the Wright Brothers when it comes to flying. So they rarely mention Bessie Coleman. So uh, y'all check her out. I'm surprised we haven't had a movie on her yet, unless I missed it. But I think I it's, I haven't, it's, I haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, either. I think, I think it's, it's, it's a, a movie is definitely due, but um, yeah, check it out, y'all. I know um, at the at O'Hare Airport, there's a there's like a terminal called Bessie Coleman Terminal. Oh, okay. So I know this. So I know they named that after her. Um, I know she's instrumental. Like a lot of people don't know that about her. So that's that that was a real good one. I'm sure people don't know who Bessie Coleman is. Yeah. I know there's. I don't know if it's a church out south for her or something. Name them. I don't know, but she's instrumental. I know that. For sure. That's for a good sure. one, T. That's a good one. Man, I got, uh, I picked, I had to go search for this one because this one was tough. Because it was between this person and another person. But this one, this shout out goes to this brother in 1981. His name was Charles Jackson. Okay. He was the first brother. He's from Detroit. He started the Jerry Curl. <laughs> we got to give him a shout out. Oh, follow the drip. Follow the drip. Black history, you Jerry Curl, black people, come on now. <laughs> Iconic moment. What was America. his name, bro? Charles Jackson. Charles Jackson. Lord have mercy. From Detroit. <laughs> okay. That you know what, Detroit? That sounds about right. From Detroit, he owned a 72 Coupe de Ville. Lord, uh, Lord have mercy. That sounds I, about right. I don't know if he was a pimp now. He probably uh, said that sound. I said, did he have gators? Favorite color was green. You can do whatever you want to do with that. You can do whatever you want to do with that. I just know he had a Jerry curl. Oh wow! I, and he used TCB product. That's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. Okay. That's a shout out. You um, stupid. Um, that's my Black History shout out. That's all you I got. You stupid, bro. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was that was a shout good out. one. That was a good one. Charles Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Charles, Charles Jackson. Oh, my Lord. man. <laughs> Lord, have oh, mercy. Lord. Yeah, Lord. y'all, y'all, y'all shout out. Y'all give props to uh Charles Jackson for that that Jerry Curl trip. They got to, they got to. Messed up a lot of sheets. 
<laughs> a lot of sheets, a lot, lot of, of the back sheets. of the couch, a lot of Hell things yeah. going on. We thank you, yeah. Charles. <laughs> hey, when the jerry curls was out, them plastic caps sold a lot. Man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I had one for a short period. Y'all will never see those pictures. And if anybody has those pictures, if you post those pictures and tag me in them, now we're no longer friends. Period. I, they, I hope they do tag them. Don't, <laughs> don't tag them. Send them to me, y'all. Inbox them to me. Y'all better not post my Jerry Curl pictures. <laughs> yeah. I definitely had one. In, uh, uh, yeah. Well, hey, next week, y'all, we got a um, special guest. And we'll be in studio next week. And we'll be in studio next week? I don't know. Is it next week? And then next week? The following week, I think we'll be in studio. What's the following? And next week, the 24th? Mm, we yeah, but our guests won't be in the studio. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll be back to you in, in next month, though, for sure. We'll, we'll have a guest for y'all, and um, this should be a good show next week. Um, most of y'all familiar with him, especially a lot of y'all that's local. You, you don't yeah. know who he is, and it'll be good. It'll be another good show. Um, thank y'all again for rocking with us, and don't forget some of this, some of that podcast. Follow us on the IG page. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify leave comments um, all that good stuff yeah we, we need y'all to go ahead leave them comments and we we, we love y'all who comment on youtube keep it up appreciate that um but let us know how you feel for sure tease you got any shout outs anybody no 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 but just like i said I, I i gave my little my little uh my little tidbit when you was when you was coming back so y'all okay. just y'all just make sure y'all keep uh Y'all keep listening and y'all keep subscribing. And uh, yeah, we're going to bring that heat for you. That's right. We coming with it, y'all. Hey, this going to be a good year. A good year. For sure. For sure. Yeah, and, and be on the lookout. Photo shoot coming soon. Definitely. Definitely. Coming soon. Yeah. yeah. All right. We out of here. All right. Y'all have a good week. Peace. Peace.